Ooh. Okay. What's this one gonna be? Oh no! Everything's erupting. Oh no, it's Mikrol Galderson. Oh shit, look at him run. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yo! Yo, look at these guys! They don't even have- <laughs> They don't even have weapons! What are they gonna do to me? They're slapping me! Look at them! They're all slapping me! Oh no! <laughs>
Got resist shock here and these fun little cubby holes. It's where they put all their sneakers. What have you got here? Scroll of Firestorm. We'll take it. A little bit of money and some studded armor. Really not much of interest. How early of a level did we find this dungeon, right? I think it's all low level because we came here and like popped it up on our map at a fairly early level, right? Isn't that how that works? Because we had already uncovered Folgers or whatever on the map. Oh my god, who is the smartest man in the world? Aeola, is it me? Is it- could it be me who solved the puzzle in one try without any hints? Does that mean I'm like really smart? I think it does. No, it's a puzzle based purely on luck. <laughs> it's a puzzle based purely on luck. There's no intelligent puzzle solving to be found there. <laughs> All right. What have you got in this? Six gold. Some vigorous magicka potions. Look at this. There's just like weapons all over and smashed up big pots. Okay. Look at this. We can't even fully access all this. It's like all. Oh, shit. The boulders are coming down. Wow, it didn't even hurt that dude. Okay. Can I throw some down there? Can you telekinese these? Hold up. Can you telekinese these things? I've never even thought to try. No. That would be too fucking cool if you could telekinese the traps like that. Alright. Well, let's get our own trap popping off here. Phew! Gotcha! Very good. Greater soul gem, too. Extra good. Is there actually anything of value up here besides these rocks that we can't even telekinese? No. Alright. Oh, shit. You gotta watch out in, um, for, for telekinesis. <laughs> he's, he's gonna take away all your pay until he gets visited by the three ghosts. Yeah. Past, present, and future. You know, old telekineser Scrooge. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh my god. We're on a fucking roll. Alright. <laughs> telekineser Scrooge. Jesus Christ. What a reach. Oh, look. Oh, is this like some kind of fun Jabba the Hutt, like, murder hole? Oh, look. There's someone's- Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Is this yours, Aeola? Is yeah. this yours? Oh, it's not! <laughs> Alright. This is, this is the only pr problem with having a conjurer as a friend. Also, your own ally is fighting you, Aeola. You know what, Aeola? Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. We've all been there. There's no need to be embarrassed about this. I've, I've done this a bazillion times. Look, can we even get- Oh, shit. Okay. Well, <laughs> Wow, how do you even cast that? I didn't even see it pop off. Look at this dude. Alright, what's this gonna open? Ow, shit! It's gonna shoot shit at me. Jeez, man. Alright. How about over here? Crank this thing. Does it also move the one on the right? Oh, it does. Okay. What happens if we crank it again while well, there's a man in there? Oh, shit. So, is this one open again? What happens if we crank this one? Okay, cool. Let's just keep cranking it. There we are. Oh, there's like a puzzle solution over here. Oh, there's a dude appearing just as well. Two of them, in fact. Look at that. Very good. Oh, we need to eat a little bit of something, something. Good. Boom. What have you got? Thing good on you? Bone meal? I'll take it. Just some garbage on the other one. Okay. Let's turn on our light. Okay. Should we- we should probably take care of the combat, because I'm not gonna be able to remember that shit in the middle of combat. So this is an evil one, right? Somehow it's gotten through the blockade. There we are. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Can you, like, trap yourself in here by asking a companion to, to flip the switch? I bet you can. Oh, Aeola, this is your friend. Okay. Here. Let's see if we can trap ourselves in there. Just just out of curiosity's sake. Right? What do you need? 
activate can't the lever. Do that. Sorry. Oh, you can't? How about this one? Can't do that. Sorry. Oh man, they thought of everything. Okay. What if I go like like this? Oh I'm trapped for real. Oh shit. Oh, unless I can solve the puzzle. Can I solve it though? Oh, we'll never- Oh no, because I have to open it from the other side. Okay, let's do a quick load. Just out of curiosity. And definitely, like, even if you can't finesse it, you got the slow time, right? Give you a few extra seconds if you want to truly just get yourself stuck in here for a million years. Okay, let's turn this on. These dudes already came out. It's a fun crystal. Alright, anything else in here? Smell anything, Gordon? Nah. Okay, what's this gonna do? I don't know. Oh, I can't even stand on it. Gordon's having too much fun. Okay, fair enough. Well, let's go take a peek at the solution now. Is there anything else on this that we may want? All just ruined books and a big old pot. Right? Yeah. Okay. And what have you got? So we've got... Look, there are some, like, partially submerged walrus-faced men here as well. Huh. Okay. You know, they almost look like the... Oblivion Gate to the Shivering Isles. You know what I'm talking about? Especially with the three of them together so close like this. Totally reminds me of it. Anyway. Snake... Fish, bird, snakefish bird, snakefish bird, snakefish bird. Will I forget it? Hell no. Ooh. Okay. Oh shit, but which order? Oh shit! Which way do you think it goes? Bird. Oh. Okay. So we just need to move these around. So this needs to be snake. Oh wait. Snake. Fish. Bird? Or does it need to be the other? It's probably got to be a mirror image, but I don't remember which order I looked at them. Snakefish bird. Shit. Okay. So this snake fish, and then, so we need snake here. Snake fish bird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. There it is. Great. Now that's it. That's it for sure. Right? It's got to be it. Okay. Hey, there we are. Lovely. Okay. Now also, before we do this, we got we got to see if there's some fun that's possible here. Let's see. Let's see. Check it this shit out, Gordon. Look, you're in there too? Oh shit. We're not on the fun side. Oh, all right. Come on. Uh, like that. Good. Okay. Now the fun begins. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I think the Oblivion ones have got them beat, right? I feel like the ones that we've seen in Oblivion really went fucking buck wild. <laughs> okay. Let's try it again. Oh, shit. We're missing all the action. <laughs> all right. That one was... Oh, my gosh. He went... Wow! Look at this. A hole in one. He's sliding down. Oh, shit! Okay, that was pretty good. Alright, one more, one more, one more. Just one more. Come on. <laughs> we can afford one more. There we go. Get you right there. Turn this back on. Eh? Oh, yes! 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 <laughs> Look at him go! He, he'll never stop! Everywhere is his domain! <laughs> Look at this! Oh my gosh, is this a screenshot moment or what? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Look at his legs flying all over! Alright, this is better than Oblivion's already. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, how do I do a screenshot? Oh shit, I quick loaded! No! <laughs> oh fuck! Alright, fine, fine. Alright, did we- Oh shit, I gotta solve it again. Oh, shoot me with the shit. Okay, yeah. Snake. That's a bird. Snake. Fish. Bird. Okay. 
<laughs> oh shit, I gotta get the crystals too. Oh, this is the walk of shame, Gordon. Don't look at me. Don't look at me, I tried to have too much fun. The ancient Nords of yore did not enjoy that. Okay. There we go. It was worth it. The memories are still with us. <laughs> did we miss anything out over here? I don't know how far back we are now. Is there anything cool that we missed? By way of having to do that? Nah, we're good. Right? We already checked these dudes. Yeah. Okay. Jeez. Oh, I need to rain on my parade. Ancient Nords of yours. Goodness, yeah, this goes really deep. It is nice of them to have the stairs, though, for their, like, job of the hut pit. Oh, what the fuck? Ew. Oh. <laughs> Spiders. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Here, we'll apply some venom. Why not? Ooh. Whoa. What was, what was that? Oh. Huh. Was it because of my poison that kind of bugged it out for some reason? Huh. Okay. Oh, look. A dwarven greatsword. Neat. Oh. Is there anything submerged here? Any submerged treasures? Nah. Yo, Aeola, you coming down these steps? Where are you? Are you stuck in, like, wait mode because I asked you to pull the lever? Shit, you might be. Yeah, alright. Oh. What are you doing, Aeola? You see something down there? What are you looking at? Ugh, it's like she's getting ready to take a shit into her own hand. <laughs> Look at that! What is this position? What are you gonna do there? <laughs> you gonna throw that when you got it? You trying to prep a fucking arcane missile? Is that what that is? Huh? Got a fucking magic missile going. Yeah, I hear that, Aeola. Okay. Wait, you won't even talk to me, will you? You're too busy trying to take a major dump. Aeola. She doesn't even want to speak to me. I'm on your side. Wow, she still doesn't want to. Here, can I can I do what this? Do you need? Wait there. What do you need? Huh. What do you need? Weird. Okay, well, I hope she's not broken forever. Dude, things have been weird with Aeola ever since we got back from Sovngarde. Something happened. I don't know what, but it ain't good. All right. All right, through the spider hole. Good. They've just webbed up the place. That's fine. Oh shit, here's our fun puzzle. Some studded imperial armor just as well. Oh, a potion of vigorous healing and a glass dagger. Okay. Anything else? Nah. Oh, a burial urn. Ooh, a silver ring. Okay. Aeola, you're gonna miss the claw door opening. Do you really want to miss it? We've been through all this. Oh, shit. <sighs> These dudes gonna get up? Oh, hey, I should try- Oh, okay. I was about to say I should try shouting at him. There we go. Okay, over here. Oh. Charge through him. Oh. Ooh, more of them getting up. Let's get some more juice. Power up our shit. Good. Get some more. Shoot one off over there. Great. Charge you through. Jesus. Good. Who's next? Easy peasy. Draugr squeezy. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. What do we got? Oh, look! Wow, one of them turned into toilet paper. Cool. Okay. Anything over here? Let's see. Nah, nothing of interest on them so far. How about you, hulking? Yeah, I got some bone meal and a vigorous healing potion. Lovely. 
Okay, it's puzzle time. Oh look, three wolves. Where's the moon though, huh? Hey. I'm sorry. Oh man. <laughs> Which one are we looking for? Ivory or diamond? Huh. Okay. You know, to to us, to the untrained eye, they look nearly identical. Huh. Are they worth the same, in fact? Surely not. Yeah, okay, the diamond one is worth like a gazillion more. Okay. Let's see. So what's our symbol on here? Bird, bird, dragon. Okay. Bird, bird. And one more down here. Dragon. Neat. Shoo. Ah. What a fun animation. Yep. Let's see. What have we got in here? Wow, ultimate stamp. Jeez, is there gonna be like some big bastard over here? I guess there is, right? It's gonna be one of the Galder brothers. Okay. Let's see. Anything else of interest here before we head deeper? Hopefully Aeola will rendezvous with us on the other end of this door to full Gunther Crypt. Let's see. Uh-oh. No Aeola. Should we backtrack and check on her? Should we? I feel like maybe we should. Maybe like zoning in and out of of that instance would fix things. We may as well check. It's whirlwind sprint. Nah. Okay, because she should be just up in this room, right? We'll just do a quick little check. All right. Hey, Ola, what are you doing over here? You still don't want to talk. Okay. Maybe it's something to do with one of the creatures? Or because that's closed off to you? Huh. Nothing. Alright. Weird. Very suspicious. Head on down. Good. Thankfully, we don't have too far of a run. And we got the whirlwind sprint anyway. Here we are. Into the crypt. Alright, at least we have Gordon with us at all times. We're never lonely. Okay, what have we got? Flawless Garnet. Oh shit, Daedric male gauntlets. Too bad it's not normal Daedric. Would look cool on Aeola. If she even wants them! You hear that, Aeola? What the fuck? Ooh. Okay. What's this one gonna be? Oh no! Everything's erupting! Oh no, it's Mikrol Galderson! Oh shit, look at him run! Okay. Let's see. Oh! Yo! Yo, look at these guys! They don't even have- <laughs> They don't even have weapons! What are they gonna do to me? They're slapping me! Look at them! They're all slapping me! Oh no! <laughs> They're slapping me! Mikael, you're like the least impressive of your brothers. <laughs> Is this really how you did it? Using the awesome power of your fragment of the amulet that gave you like, I don't know, 10 extra stamina? You were able to command three dudes to slap people for you? And that's- Oh shit, oh, you got one of these. <laughs> yeah, for real. How, how is it that, that they were able to be such a threat to everyone when like, the, the source of their power just gave them like, one level up? <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. There we go. I don't even know where the main dude went. There you are. Oh shit, look, I keep doing it. Alright. Good. Lovely. Any more gonna crack open? It sounds like it, but are they gonna be a threat? No, I think they all just died instantly, right? There were probably just more thralls ready to slap me. Got some bone meal. It's worthwhile. Okay. Yeah, what does your amazing fragment of the amulet do? Wow, 30 health. Oh my gosh, three level ups. Oh. <laughs> 
Good lord. How are these things so so terrifying? Like <laughs> Did this really give people so much trouble? 30 health? Come on. <laughs> so many people were like subjugated by them or whatever. They they were ruled over by their tyrannical reign of terror <laughs> just because they had a, an enchanted amulet for 30 HP. All right. We'll take the Galder Black Blade. It doesn't look that cool, but it's got a unique name, right? Writ of Sealing. Be bound here, Micro! Murderer! Betrayer! Condemned by your crimes against realm and lord! May your name and your deeds be forgotten forever! And the charm which you bear be sealed by our ward! Damn. Fucking take that in your fucking 30 health annually, you dumb piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck. All right, what does my amulet do? My amulet's way more impressive than just 30 health, right? Let's see. Yeah, magic resist, 25% and one-handed damage, shit. These motherfuckers don't even have double enchants on their shit. What the fuck are you even doing? Shit. All right. Let's see, maybe it wasn't even so much that the amulet really conveyed much terrible power. It just gave them some sort of, like, blind confidence, right? Like, maybe they, they were so, I don't know, so dumb. They didn't even know what the fucking amulet did. They are just like, oh, this is, I feel the magic on it. <laughs> this is doing something for me, man. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the magic on this. <laughs> and they're like, oh, I'm feeling fucking unstoppable now. I'm going to just, like, terrorize shitloads of people. <laughs> right? It sort of unlocked some sort of deranged behavior from within them. It wasn't so much that the... It gave them a false sense of confidence, enough to carry out their... their dark will. Right? That'll... That'll be my headcanon. <laughs> See, we came up with a problem and we came up with a solution. That's fucking Elder Scrolls lore if I've ever seen it, huh? Damn. Make your own kind of music. Let's see, what have we got here? Oh, a little keyhole. Good. Anything special inside this? Nah. Alright. Over here, did we search all these bods? We did not. Okay. Over this way. Ah, yeah, there you go. So... Was this dude a vampire? Is that why they had thralls, or are these, like, thralls in a different way? Like, undead ones, rather than vampiric thralls. Is there anything on the- oh, there is. Good. Oh. A vibrating pot, just as well. Oh, listen to that, I can hear our amazing word of the day. Oh, I can't wait. What will we learn this time? Maybe the next word in throw voice or whatever. <laughs> Alright. Though this is meant to be, according to the journal, this is meant to be the entry level dungeon, right? It was listed first, so maybe this won't be anything very impressive at all, right? Might be something pretty mundane. Well, let's get this first. Teach me your ancient power, wall! Frost breath! I, I, I'm laughing at, but that's literally a power of Superman, right? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's unlock that thing, right? Oh, shit. Where is it? There we go. Your breath is winter. Your thumb a blizzard. <gasps> cool. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try and use it. All right, anything good here? We got an orcish shield, a glass mace, some dwarven gauntlets, ultimate healing potion, paralysis poison. And what's inside our big hullabaloo? But a, an elven bow of enervating. Ooh! Some gold, some picks, a necklace of revival. <laughs> Honestly, this might be better than their fucking dumbass necklace. You know? What the fuck? All right, a scroll of mayhem, or mayhem. Whichever you prefer. Let's see. Anything up here? 
Oh, yeah, look at a little secret burial zone. Nothing of value, though. Oh, and an iron greatsword plunged into the earth. Cool. All right, it's time to feast our eyes upon this amazing shortcut back, right? We saw it before. We're going to come through a little... Yeah, one of their burial things. All right. Look at that. I think it's like two of them linked together, right? That's how they pulled off this fun little trick. Okay. I know some people think that that's lazy, but I think it's I think it's like cool as shit. <laughs> I I enjoyed that. I enjoy the little shortcuts and stuff, right? I don't know. Don't fucking overwork your people if you can help it. Have fun little tricks and all that. All right. Should we? Can we resurrect this dude? I I don't remember if we even tried. Let's see here. How about dead thrall? Look, I'm gonna get a thrall on my own. Uh, Danis Valen, I call you back from upon the grave. Pew! Oh yes, you return. <laughs> yes, very good. Now where does our quest lead us? Reforge the Galdir amulet. Cool. And look, we've got our own guide now, just as well. All right, let's re-equip this. Good. Okay, I think we can just jump down here, right? Yeah. Oh shit! I forgot. <laughs> I, I changed off the uh, whirlwind sprint to frosty breath. Okay. Out over here. Oh, what was that? Oh right. <laughs> okay. Should we grab any of this food? We're getting we're getting a little hungry, right? Oh, thanks, Gordon. Yeah, let's let's chow down on some of their weird junk food. Get some of that bread. Tomato. I'll even eat a venison chop. Why not? Okay, probably. In fact, most definitely overkill. Okay. So where do we need to go for this? Ooh, look. Wow, what a rare load screen. Wow, jeez, we don't normally see that one. Is Aeola out here? Dude, Aeola is trapped in there forever. What's going on with her? Oh, gosh. Jeez. We need to remember that she's out here at full Gunther, just in case if she never shows up again. Maybe if we rest at our... at Windstab, everything will be sorted out and good to go? Yo, how do we forge this thing? Oh, we go over here? Oh, over by Markarth, I see. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, she might be sucked up inside of this for an eternity. Maybe Aeola's going to live out the legacy of the Galder sons. The son of Galder. What? Ruin. Yeah, Aeola, you were just in there. I'm glad you, you joined, though. Mira, watch over you, champion. Dude, Aeola is so weird. She, like, practically plays by her own rules. She barely listens to me half the time. And I love it. <laughs> I love her for it. <laughs> All right. Let's head on up to... Actually, let's go to Solitude, right? Let's just do a straight shot to Markarth. When we get to Markarth, we can have a restful slumber. Right? Because we're going to get sleepy anyway from the... The... the you know, it makes that noise. I'm riding on one... A horse! <laughs> from the, the horse carriage, right? We're, we're going to get sleepy from that anyhow. Alright. Let's pop this up. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, at the <laughs> we, we gotta go to the farm there. Okay, good. Yo, here's a question for you. How the fuck is there not a shout in this game that gives you water walking? Right? How is that not something? Or something that lets you... That, that has, like, multiple stages to where you water walk, but also can maybe water breathe, right? How does that not exist? Now, surely the, the water breathing one exists, right? Surely that exists. You lead. I'll follow. But I guess, you know, there's no effects in this that do convey yeah. water walking, right? So I guess it makes sense. Alright. Up and around. Fuck, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. I think my favorite is when it's purpley blue like this, right? I know we've seen a lot of the, like, oh shit, someone, some, someone in a very long ago patinated, right? Yeah, someone taught me this. 
Um, it's rusted copper is when it's patented. Oh, shit, what the fuck? No, bring it back! <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, I guess, I think the, the, like, indigo color is my favorite of all the Aurora Borealis that we experience here in Skyrim Land. Oh, shit, what's going on? Is it gonna snow or what? Jeez, I'm gonna clear the skies here real quick. I want to see that beautiful Borealis. There we go. How does that work, by the way? Is that just magic, or is that like a real effect of a Borealis that looks like a different color depending on where you're standing? Is that true? I have no idea how it works. I mean, honestly, I barely understand. I have, like, a very rough concept of how, of how a standard Aurora Borealis works, right? <laughs> I barely know how that even works. Something to do with the... The atmosphere in that part of the world, I think, right? Shit, I don't know. I guess I don't even really know. Fuck me. It's magic to me. It's magic. I just expect, you know, someone someone who knows what the fuck they're talking about know, knows some shit. I trust in you. Need a ride? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Where do you want to go? Send me to Markarth, friendo. Climb and back. What the we'll fuck? Off. Whoa! Whoa! What's going on here? Who is this? A Stormcloak courier! Wait, do you have something for me? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Be a piece! Be a piece! Where's my illusion? Here, I'll give you courage! And calm! Courage and calm! Be a piece! You're too powerful! Please! Pacify! Be a peace! Be a peace! I missed him! Oh shit! Aeola's trying to kill this dude now too! <laughs> wow! What the hell? Do they ever have anything good? Should we hunt this guy down? Oh look, were they running over to the Stormcloak camp? Oh shit! Aeola, we need to pull back, otherwise we're going to, like, get Solitude embroidered in, like, a major combat here. Whoa, who the fuck are you? Oh, <laughs> it's Dana's Valen! Okay, sure. <laughs> I was like, whoa, who the fuck is this guy? He looks scary as shit wearing some, like, necromancer robes? Ooh. Okay. Gosh, I hope they remembered my- that I paid the fee. Okay. How weird. Okay. Oh, stay. Hey, there we go. Good. To Markarth. Huzzah! <laughs> I'm ready for action. Serving jail time causes some skills to lose their accumulated progress. We'll never know the rest. Oh, I actually warmed up. Okay. I like that. Well, nonetheless, we do need to rest up, don't we? I mean, I guess we could try and trek it, but it's probably safest to take a rest here. All right, because I don't know how big this dungeon will be for reforging the amulet. All right. Up and over, we'll go to Vlindril. We may need to, yeah, we'll probably end up just sleeping for a whole fucking 24 hours. That way we can leave at about 8 a.m. There we are. And up into Vlindril. Oh, look. Old Ar Argus the Bulwark shield. is here to greet us. <laughs> do you think he's maybe the least... Who do you think could be the least used... Uh, House Carl? What do you need, my thing? Yeah. Who do you think could be the least one? I'm thinking it's him. Right? Or maybe one of the people from one of the minor cities? I would say maybe of the major ones, it's him who is the least used, right? Oh, I don't know. Because, you know, all things considered, we haven't even gotten the Windhelm one, right? But that maybe is just personal preference, right? Let's see. Let's go for 24. There we are. I'd love it if they collected, like, some light form of metadata or had, like, an opt-in program, right? for uh skyrim they should do that for elder scrolls 6 have like an option at the beginning to be like yeah opt in for metadata and we'll collect some metadata on your 
account and all that, and then they can have a big infographic like a couple months or so after the game launches and shit, right? Like, um, what do you call it? Mass Effect Legendary Edition did something along those lines. And, as you would expect, they were very similar stats to how they were way back in the day. <laughs> very few people play through that game with a, what do you call it, character? A renegade character, right? And I don't blame them. I, I can't really br bring myself to do it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little harsh. You feel like you have a sense of responsibility, especially with how that game is set up, right? Okay. Over here. Good. Do you have any cooked Please, meat? Stay away while you got that spell on you. Oh shit. Like what? What do I have on me? Oh, what's his name? Right. Yeah, okay. Okay. Gotcha. Please, stay away while you got that spell on you. Take a look. Let's see what we've got. Worker loaf. Yep, that's been cooked. Anything else here? Seared slaughterfish, but that's like nothing. Oh, apple pie. And some cooked beef. Good. Thank you. Come back when you need Wink. more meat. Bring gold. Alright. Let's head on out of here. Do we still have our dude with us? Yeah. Cool. Alright. Oh, look. Prior Mabel has reappeared. Unless this is Nameless Horse. Nope. This is Prior Mabel. Very good. Okay. Off we go. How far off is this shit? Oh, it's right over by Reachwind Erie. Huh. Okay. Amazingly, I don't think we've ever been to Reachwind Erie? Or maybe we did. Was that like a dwarven tower? We may have been to that, and it's just not a clearable dungeon, right? It might not be a dungeon that can be listed as cleared. Especially given its icon, which I don't even understand what that icon is meant to represent. Some sort of fortification during a war? I don't know. Let's see. Up here. What even is an eerie? That's like related to birds, right? Isn't that something about birds? It's usually like some kind of tower up in foothills or whatever related to birds. Or some kind of falcons, hawks, something like that. Right? Am I mistaken? I feel like that's the general idea that I've gathered from, <laughs> from playing video games where that name appears. Hey, look, it's my favorite drinking buddies. Why's that? Oh, why is that? I don't... Hail, friend. Hail, friend. It's good to see another merry soul. Oh, it's good to see you too, you day. bald bastard. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Oh, I'll share some mead with you every day, any day. I would love to share a drink with you, friend. Ah, nothing like buying spirits. Ah. Your... Well, your spirits. Cheers, my friend. <laughs> May your adventures find you fame and fortune. Damn, listen to Prior Mabel fucking breathing. She's loving this fucking mead too. Do you want to drink Prior Mabel? Horses probably should not drink, <laughs> like, alcohol. <laughs> right? Horses should not drink alcohol, right? But how about undead guys, huh? What happens if they do that? Probably nothing. I don't know. They would probably, like, does their body still function? I don't know. I'm drinking this. There we go. Like if you, like if we tried to feed and offer drinking food to our dead thrall, what's his name? Valus, whatever. Drain of Valus. Would, would he eventually like have to poop and pee? Or would he, would he just eventually explode? <laughs> Good lord, what the fuck? <laughs> I feel like it's the latter, right? Oh man, we've gone by this place so many times. This is it, huh? Okay. Let's grab some of this cool shit. There we go. Good. Alright. Silver ore. Useful. We need to keep it at silver as well. Because I've got a few gems that can only be like encrusted oh fuck encrusted within a silver piece of jewelry da -da 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 -da. reach wind eerie discovered or what's it called reach water rock 
Oh, look. Reach water? Reach wind? Reach cliff? Reach cliff's secret entrance? Huh. Yeah, I mean, this is the reach, right? I wonder if that's a naming convention from the Reachmen, right? I wonder if that's like their naming convention. Oh, look. Wow, iron ore. I would have missed this. If not for my strange curiosity to like look over ledges. <laughs> you know what? This is just some light, rewarding exploration to look over a ledge like this. I don't know what compels me to do it, but fuck if I don't love these games for being able to do it. <laughs> oh shit, oh, it's, it's pushing me, this little stream. Good God. All right, in we go. What lurks within? It's probably the Galder Father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God. Oh, look, we got some lovely shroomages. Just as well. There we are. Beautiful. Cool. Alright, let's equip this. Oh, shit, look at this. This looks big. Man, there are a bunch of shrooms here. Good thing we got plenty of inventory. Look, there's some ancient Nord ruins. Oh, shit, are we gonna be able to enter here? Oh, maybe we'll just need the Ivory Claw, right? Okay. Cool. Anything else here? Now, this will be scaled up to our level, right? You know, we need to definitely check inside the water before we try and go up there, right? Who knows what amazing treasures and fantastic woot loot rests within. But fuck me, look at all these shroomages, huh? Look at these. Even got some juniper berries. Wow. Okay. Let's do some mining here. There we are. Am I hitting it? I don't think I am. Let's try over here. There we go. Good. Depleted. Okay, over here, get these. Alright. You know, every so often... <laughs> every so often on... I forget which one it was, but there's a short that I made in which... I'm... I, I, I do that for a little bit, right? I, I mine via... Via just smacking the pick around at the actual node and stuff. And of course, there's there's people who are like, holy shit, I didn't know that you could do it. But also, every so often, there's someone who speaks with the utmost confidence of like, yeah, you can't do that. You're this, look at this guy. He's going around hitting that shit like, like it's doing something. <laughs> it's delivered with such a, an air of confidence about that you would almost believe them <laughs> that I didn't know what I was doing. And honestly, half the time, they're probably right. Oh shit, what's this? Oh, a steel greatsword and a hide shield. Do I have like a water breathing potion? Because now would be the time to use it. Oh, perfect. Wow, it's only 15 seconds though. So. We'll save it until I start fucking suffocating. Okay. Over here. Oh, there it is. Yoink. Beautiful. Oh shit, there is treasure down here. An adept locked chest. Oh, shit. Ah, there we go. Gold, petty soul gem, and a potion of stam. Very good. Okay. Anything else around here? I think we're good. <laughs> Neat. Okay. And then, let's re-equip our... Axe for combat. Good. Alright. Then let's head on up here. You know, maybe we'll delve into this next time, similar to what we did at the last Galderson Eternal Slumber place of residence. You know? Maybe we'll chill out by this cool tree. Oh shit. An adventurer. Damn, people be bleeding. Okay. Gosh, what a, like, serene and peaceful place to fucking go, though, right? We'll take some gold. 
uh, the Reading Lost Legends. Take their minor healing potions. Okay. Anything else here on you? Nah. An ancient edict in the Emerald Dragon Claw. What's the edict say? Let this place be forgotten forever. Let it be struck from the rolls of history. Let it never be spoken of by man or myrrh. Let its very name be lost to the ages. Ye who enter here, know, this place was sealed at great price. Honor those who perished here. Turn back and leave them to their rest. We're gonna go fucking in there. All right, and we got our fun dragon claw and everything. Cool. And you know what, since we're gonna end here, at kind of an opportune moment for exploring the dungeon's sake. I say, hey, let's get in a little bit of reading, huh? We picked up that book last time, right? The Atlas of Dragons. Let's see, let's give that a read before we forget. All right, so yeah, if you'd like to stick around, we will be doing a little bit of reading. Let me see here. I need to add this to my list. Oops, that's Baldur's Gate reading. Okay. Oh shit, where is my pencil? There we go. Okay. Oh shit, I'm bumping into the mic. At list of dragons. Oops, there we go. Okay. If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna take a quick drink. Atlas of Dragons. Second Era, 373. I wonder if this author or whoever compiled this is in ESO. Hmm. Because there is like a dragon specific expansion to that game. Compiled by Brother Math Mothman. Herein is recorded the list of known dragons both living and dead, including those slain by the Dragon Guard since the time of its founding, as well as those slain in earlier ages, where they can be identified. Unfortunately, only a few of the dragons slain by our Akaviri predecessors during the Crusade were recorded, and thus this list is sadly incomplete. Oh right, yeah, this is information on every named dragon in the game, I think, right? In the core game, at least. Deceased by report. Nahagliv. Local tales name him as the dragon buried in the mound west of Rorikstead. No date associated with his death, although almost surely dates to the Dragon War era. Odiving. Records dating to the crusade interrogation of captured dragon cultists. Oh, really? Indicate that this dragon was buried in a mound in the southeast of Skyrim near Riften. Huh. Uh, Saloknir. Local legends claim this is the dragon buried in the mound near Kynesgrove, slain by the Nord hero Jorg Helmbolg in the first era. Wow. That's the one that... Well, it's not the one that's always circling it, but it was the one that was there, inside the mound, right? That's nearby, the one that's always circling around at the, uh, the steamy pits, right? The, uh, the sulfur... pits. Vin to Ruth, death dating back to Dragon War era, according to documents recovered from dragon cult temples, which record his burial near Lake Yorgrim. Voljot Nock, death dating back to Dragon War, or just after, according to recovered dragon cult documents, which record his burial in a mound near Granite Hill. Was this in the core game, or did this get added, like, after the fact with the Dragonborn DLC? Because either that's the case, or some of this, like, the, all the mention, like, it mentions a lot of the dragon cult. This might be the most that's ever been mentioned, right? If I recall correctly. At least that we've encountered so far. But, um, 
maybe this is meant to allude to the Dragonborn DLC, right? Slain by the Dragon Guard. Grakrin Drog, slain in the Second Era 184 after perpetrating great slaughter in Winterhold and Eastmarch. Name confirmed with assistance from the College Mages. Krajot Dan, slain in the First Era 2871 in the Southern Jeril Mountains. Name confirmed by the dragon's own account. Huh. In the Southern Jeril Mountains. I wonder if we would have been in that area in Oblivion, right? Unnamed dragons. Numbering 12, as recorded in the Annals, dating back to the founding of Skyhaven Temple. Known to live. Abilok. Sightings dating back to the early years of the Dragon Guard throughout the Northern Gerals. Multiple attempts to kill him have failed. He is believed to be lairing somewhere in Morrowind? What the fuck? I'm assuming mainland Morrowind, right? Oh, shit. Huh. Okay. Mermelnir. Last sighted in the Reach in Second Era 212. Believe we met Mermel near. Nafala. Nafalar. <laughs> Repeated alliances with mortal protectors, which have prevented his elimination. His last known protector was the King Casimir II of Wayrest, which the Dragon Guard successfully ended in the Second Era. 369. He escaped and current location is unknown. Yo, what? When exactly does ESO take place? Does this go on in ESO? I don't, I don't fucking know. Huh. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, Parthenax. The legendary lieutenant of Alduin in the Dragon War. He is now known to lair on the throat of the world, under the protection of the Greybeards of High Frothgar. Master Aride continues the established policy of avoiding direct confrontation with the Greybeards while waiting for an opportunity to exact justice upon him. Oh, this was written very recently, because they, they only recently learned of them. Who is Master Aride or Aride? This is the last page as well. Yeah, who is that? It must be someone operating out of a different region of Tamriel that they somehow... Right? That, like, Esbern and Delphine somehow got into contact with. Right? Because they didn't know of Parthenax until then, huh? I'm not sure. No, maybe not. Yeah, maybe this really is... Yeah, Master Raid probably doesn't exist anymore, right? Because this was compiled by that dude in the title, right? This was just forgotten and lost knowledge, huh? Is the idea? Okay, fair enough. Fascinating shit. But yeah, like I said, it seems to allude to Dragonborn DLC in some ways. But more so, it seems to allude to fucking ESO plotlines. Or maybe it's the other way around that ESO, like, like I know they have fucking, they have had and still do have someone on their team that is a lore master and like, they have people who dig through this shit for plot points that they can, um, extrapolate upon, right? And maybe that's exactly what they did here. I could see that. Or perhaps this already happened in the past of ESO and content in there builds upon it, right? Who knows? Very interesting, though, nonetheless. All right, when next we come back, we're going to put together the three pieces and assemble their supreme power and perhaps defeat Galderdad. Until next time, please take care of each other.